Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good night. Hello. Ok, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo están? ¿Cómo estuvo su weekend? ¿Todo bien? Bien, pero ocupado, teacher. Ah, sí. Ah, qué bueno. No hubo descanso, puro trabajo. Mm. Bueno, y se nos acaba enero. Miren como si nada se fue el primer mes del año. Ya un día queda. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Ok, people, this time, ya dimos algunos minutos de espera, arrancar, comencemos entonces con la primera attendance, ok, Alison Andrea Serrano, no ha llegado, Carla Yasmin Rivera. Present. Ok, welcome. Carlos Jonathan García. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Ok. Daniel, los 10 minutos al final son para ti esta noche, ok. 
Bueno. Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present teacher. Very good. Edwin Vladimir Pérez. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Gilberto Benito Santa María. Present. Ok. Jennifer Guadalupe Elías. Michael. José Andrés Martínez. José Andrés Martínez. Por ahí lo vi entrando, pero ya no es. Julio César Fabián. Present teacher. Ok. Noé Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Ok. Omar Alexander Chávez. Raúl Edgardo Sarceño. Present teacher. Okay. Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Present teacher. Okay. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present. Okay. Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. Vladimir Alejandro García. I'm here. Okay. William Boris Roque. Present teacher. Okay. William Rodrigo Ángel. Present teacher. Okay. Alguien más ya entró. Ya estaba. Hi, teacher. Yo. Okay, Allison. Present. Carlos Jonathan. Eric Mauricio. Jennifer Guadalupe. José Andrés. Present teacher. Okay, ya está. Omar Alexander. Virginia del Carmen. Presente, teacher. Ok. Very good. Bueno. ¿Cómo vamos con la plataforma? Ya vamos avanzando en las tareas. ¿Sí? Yes. Yes, teacher. Sí, yes, teacher. Al día de hoy tenía que estar hasta la tercera tarea. ¿verdad? Hasta la tercera, ¿verdad? Pueden adelantar, no hay problema. ¿verdad? Pero sí, mínimo hasta la tercera. Ya mañana tiene que estar terminada la quinta. ¿Ya? Terminamos la primera unidad el día de mañana. ¿Ok? Bien. A ver, a ver, a ver. Last class we were talking about how much and how many. ¿Verdad? Cómo usar how much y how many. Eh, no sé si les compartí este cuadrito. No este, permítanme. No recuerdo si les compartí este cuadrito en el WhatsApp, pero bueno, veámoslo, repasemos aquí en lo compartió, Sí, ¿verdad? Ya yes, teacher. Ok. Un poco más ampliado el uso del how much y el how many. Utilizamos how much, ¿verdad? 
eh, para when I want to know the quantity or amount para conocer la cantidad o igual no cantidad ¿Verdad? y usamos how much con lo que se conoce como uncountable nouns nombres no contables es decir de, de sustantivos que no se pueden pluralizar no podemos usar en plural eh, en inglés sustantivos no contables ¿verdad? Eh, por ejemplo sugar sugar is uncountable now en inglés no no es correcto decir one sugar, two sugars, three sugars no time es también uncountable now algunos me dirán, no, pero el tiempo sí se puede contabilizar. Sí, pero estamos hablando del sustantivo, tiempo, de la palabra tiempo. ¿Verdad? En inglés no, pues, no eh, es contable, ¿no? En este sentido, cuando hablamos de duración, de un tiempo que nos tardamos en hacer algo. De la palabra time tiene, puede tener otras traducciones puede traducir como vez. ¿Verdad? Si yo le pregunto, how many times yeah, do you watch TV? O how many times do you check your email? ¿No? ¿Cuántas veces? Pero no es ese, ese término, sino que el, el, el sustantivo tiempo no es contable. ¿Ok? Eh, pero básicamente, como yo les explicaba aquel día, quizás para facilitarnos la comprensión, how much es lo que traducimos como cuánto o cuánta, ¿verdad? Así singular, cuánto o cuánta, ¿ve? ¿Okay? Y how many es el que traducimos. ¿Cuántos? ¿Verdad? O cantidad. Porque how many lo utilizamos con sustantivos plurales. Sustantivos plurales. ¿Ya? How much money did you spend? ¿Cuánto dinero gastas? How much milk? Is in the fridge. ¿Cuánta leche hay en el refrigerador? No son sustantivos. No contamos. También usamos how much cuando queremos preguntar precio. Queremos saber price. Want to know the price. Precio de algo. How much. Decíamos cuando hablamos de dinero. Y de nuevo. ¿Dinero es contable? No. La palabra dinero no es contable palabra dinero no se debe de usar en tal. No podemos decir un dinero, dos dineros, tres dineros. Se cuenta el billete, ¿verdad? Cuenta las monedas. Sustantivo dinero no es contable. How much is this dress? Ya vimos estas preguntas. How much are these shoes? How much did your jacket cost? How much will it cost? ¿Ah? ¿Cuánto vale este vestido? ¿Cuánto valen esos zapatos? ¿Cuánto te costó esa etapa? ¿Cuánto me va a How much? ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto? ¿Y how many? ¿Cuántos? ¿Cuánto? Vean, lo usamos con plural countable nouns. Antivos contables. How many days are there in January? Days es un sustantivo contable. How many students are in this room? Students es un sustantivo contable. Sustantivos contables se pueden usar en singular y en plural. Los no contables no. How many books did you buy? How many cousins do you have? ¿No? ¿Cuántos días hay en enero? ¿Cuántos estudiantes hay en el, en el salón de clase? 
¿Cuántos libros compraste? ¿Cuántos primos tienes? Um, bueno. Y aquí dice el sustantivo o frecuentemente es omitido en la pregunta cuando es obvio de qué estamos hablando. Ejemplo, I would like to buy some cheese. Me gustaría comprar algo de queso. How much would you like? No es necesario, en esta conversación, repetir el sustantivo cheese. Ahora, how much cheese would you like? Este cheese ya es innecesario. Ahora entiende cuando yo le pregunto cuánto quieres, ella me dijo acá que quiere comprar. ¿Ok? Bien. ¿Alguna pregunta con esto? Una ampliación de lo que tenemos ahí en el manual. Si no hay preguntas, pues me gustaría ponerles un ejemplo. Voy a compartir ahí. En la pantalla, voy a compartir... Eh, esto, una captura de pantalla de esto. Permítame. La idea es que completen usando how much o how many. Van a completar este ejercicio usando how much o how many. ¿Verdad? Para practicar un poco esto. Ok. Ahorita sí. Y en el WhatsApp. Tómense unos minutos para hacerlo individualmente, luego los coloco en, en grupo, comparen y después revisamos todo. Solo tienen que escribir how much o how many. See you in five minutes.
Okay, I voy a enviarlos a trabajar en grupos para que compartan ahí sus respuestas. Comparen, ok. Ingresen a sus grupos, por favor.
Okay, welcome back. Let's check your work. Okay, let's see. Alison, what about number one? How much or how many? How much? How much stars? What do you think, people? How many? How many? How many? Many. Mm -hmm. Many. All right. Escriban en el chat lo que ustedes creen. Vamos a ver cuántos dicen okay. how much y cuántos dicen how many. Vamos todos, todos, todos. Escriban, escriban. Solo la respuesta, no es necesario que escriban toda la oración. Solo how much or how many. Uh... Ok. Well. A ver. Stars. Stars is countable. Pero no, no, no hablemos de eso mejor. Stars is plural o singular. Plural. Plur plural. 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 Okay, is plural. Entonces, plural. is plural. Many. How many? Many. How many? Correct. How many stars are there in the sky? A ver, number two. Escriban ahí en el chat. Number two. A number two. Es en el chat de Zoom que estamos escribiendo. Sí, me está respondiendo aquí en el de WhatsApp, pero no es en el chat de Zoom, por favor. ¿De Zoom? Sí, en el chat de Zoom. Bueno, bueno, tenemos decisión dividida. Vuelvo a hacer la misma pregunta. People. People is singular or plural? Plural. Plural. Okay. Entonces. How many? How much? Plural. Hemo. How many? Yes. How many people? No. People is plural. ¿Cuántas personas viven en la isla? Recuerden. Much singular many with plural. Que lo apliquemos. La instrucción correcta es how much with uncountable nouns, nombres no contables, y how many con nombres contables. Yo se los estoy expresando así en, 
términos de plural y singular. Porque los números no contables no tienen plural. Por eso. Saumani. Y esta people es una palabra plural. ¿no? Ok. Number three. Vamos a ver. Number three ahora. How much or how many? How many? Write in the chat, please. Write in the chat in Zoom. One, two, three. Five, four, six, nine, nine, How many birds are there? ¿Cuántos pájaros hay? Muy bien. Now, number four. Number four. What? Vamos, no están los demás, solo dos han escrito. Three, four, ah, ok. Ok, ajá. Le vamos captando. How much? How much? Okay. Very good. Number five. Number five. Uh -huh. Okay, how much money? How much money is in the good number six? Number six. Okay. Bueno, aquí la mayoría está. How many? How many countries? Pura. Very good. Number seven. Number seven. Ah, tenemos ahí sección dividida. A ver, red. Red is singular or plural? Singular. Singular. Si es singular, es how much how or how many? How much. Much. How 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 much
much bread is eaten per day? How much? No, usted, alguno dirá, ah, pero el pan es contable, el pan no podemos contar. Eh, en inglés, el no. ¿Verdad? Yo sé que en español decimos pan, dos panes, tres panes, pero en inglés no. ¿Verdad? Tienes que especificar piezas de pan, pollo de pan, o, o gasa de pan. Okay. Number eight. Vamos con number eight. Bones. Bones. Nuevo tenemos. Ahí. Millones encontradas. Bones. Huesos. Singular or plural. Plural. Huesos. Plural. Plural. Bones. plural. Y si es plural es. Many. How many. many. How many. How many. Okay, number nine. Sand. Sand. Okay. And is singular or plural? Plural. And arena? Arenas. Oh, I know arena. arenas. So much. It's incontable. I know it's arena. Funny. You see? Singular. How much? Singular. How much? That. Okay. And finally, number ten. You know, it's on the level. Information. Okay. Information. Okay. okay. How much information? Okay. Let's practice. Repeat, please. How many stars are there in the sky? How many stars are How there in the sky? In the sky. Two, how many people live on island? How many people, how many live, people on island? live on island? Three, how many birds are there? How many birds, how many birds, birds are, there? Are, there? are there? Four, how much water is in the ocean? How much water, water is in the ocean? Water water is in the ocean. Five. How much money is in a bank? How much, How much money, is, money in the bank? is in a bank? Six. How many countries are there in the world? How, How many, many countries, countries are there in the world? Seven. How much bread is eaten per day? How much bread is eaten per day? Eight. 
How many bones are there in the human body? How many bones are there in the human body? Nine. How much sand is in the desert? How much sand is in the desert? Desert. Then, how much information is on the internet? How much information is on the internet? Okay. Very good. Any question, people? No. Oh. Not teacher. Let's continue then with. There is a letter here, a welcoming letter. A welcoming letter to Dominic's new job. What is a welcoming letter? What is that? What is a welcoming letter? Una carta de bienvenida. Una carta de bienvenida. ¿Para quién? Para Dominic. Por su new trabajo. Nuevo trabajo. Nuevo trabajo. Ok. Muy bien. Y acá tenemos la carta. Luego de leerla hay que poner estas aseveraciones con true or false. According to the letter. De acuerdo a la carta. Dice acá es true or false. Entonces, la voy a leer. De hecho, se las voy a grabar para que se lo... Si la quieren leer en voz alta, la práctica. Travers Inc. For a better future. Dear employee. Welcome to Travers Inc. Congratulations. You are now part of the Travers family. Here's some information about your new job. Please read it carefully. Name, Glenda Dominique Sanchez. Job title, Junior Sales Manager. Key job duties, have a meeting with your manager every week. Get in contact with customers. Answer clients' questions about our product. Take orders on the telephone. Call potential clients. Vacations, two weeks per year, plus public holiday. Salary, $440 per month, plus bonus. Good luck, Mark Travers, CFO. Okay. I will give you time, le voy a dar tiempo, to work on this exercise. Read the letter and check true or false this statement. Okay, estas afirmaciones. Let me share this here in WhatsApp so you can work on that. Okay. Ok, ahí lo tienen en WhatsApp. Cuando terminen, me levantan la mano en señal de que ya lo terminaron. Y luego lo voy a colocar siempre en grupo para que compare. Y después lo reviso. Ok, when you finish, please raise your hand, your virtual hand, mano virtual.
Ok, los voy a enviar unos minutitos a los grupos para que comparen. Prepare your work, please.
Okay, okay, let's check. Dominique speaks to clients in her new job. True or false? True. 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 Her salary is 100 per week. False. 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 <clears throat> Dominique gets a yearly vacation. True. It's true. 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 Okay. She has to work on holiday. It's false. False. Okay. Very good. Very good. Now, let's continue with lesson four. In lesson four, you will be able to talk about financial um, information and work work. Let's see, how many days a week do you work? How much time do you have to complete your task at work? Well, we are going to think about that. How many days a week do you work? Huh? Six days. Six days? Five days a week. Five, five days. Some of you work five, some of you work six. Okay. Sometimes I work the whole week. The whole week. Uh, that's that. Uh, anyways, I'm not happy. Let's read this conversation, okay? Between Ben Je and Jeff. Conversation between Ben and Jeff. Let me record the conversation for you. Uh, here. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Listen one more time. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Now, please repeat after me. 
Chef, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Yes. yes. How are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Do you work? Hey Ben. Well, I work five days a week. You? Hey Ben. Hey Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. That's right. I work two weekdays and one day on Saturday. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? How much money do they pay for each extra hour? Really? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. Yes, yes, yes. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? I Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Now, I am Ben and you are Jeff. Okay. Okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Hey, hey, man. Man. I hey, work five days a week. I work five days a week. Some you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes Saturdays. Really? Saturday? Saturday? You work you work hour? Hour? How much money do they pay for each hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. I see. Sometimes there is not much right. Absolutely. Okay. Now let's switch. You are Ben and I am Jeff. You begin. One, two, three. Jeff, yeah. how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week you work. How many days a week do you work? Hey Ben. Hey Ben. Well, I work five days a week. That's right. That's great. I work on weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Saturday. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? How much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, yes. I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around $10. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. 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 Okay. Very good. Well, I will send you to working groups and in your groups, I want you to practice the conversation and then I want you to respond to this question. Okay, this, to complete this question with how much or how many, how much or how many, okay? So practice the conversation and complete the exercise three. Let me form the couples, parejas. Okay, 
join your groups, please, and practice the conversation.
Okay, welcome back. Let's see. Let's start with group number one. That is Allison, Gilberto, and Julio. Yes. No son tres. Pero hay alguien que me quedó sin grupo. Teacher, yo quedé solo. Carlos, va. Entonces, vamos primero con. Alison y Gilberto, y luego Julio César va a practicar con Carlos Jonathan. Ok. Ok. Send the conversation, please. Alison and Gilberto. Comienzo, Alison. Está bien. Jack, how are, are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Will I work five days a week and you? That's great. I work four week days on Sunday and Saturday, Saturday. Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hour when there is to match or to do x extra or is around ten dollars i see well sometimes and uh, there's is not much than rain absolutely okay very good now please julio cesar and carlos okay Carlos, voy a comenzar yo. Okay, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, what? I work five days a week. And you? That's agreed. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Sunday. Really? On Sunday and Saturday? Do you work ex extra hours? And how much money do you take by four ex extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when a day is too much work to do extra hours is around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now let's continue with Carla and Jose Andres. Okay. Um, you, oh. okay. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben, well, I work five days a week, and you? That's great. I work for four weekdays and sometimes on Saturday. Really, on Saturday, do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hours is around $10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not there is not much time right absolutely okay. you now noe and vladimir yes 
Eu começo. Uh, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Where, where I work five days a week and you? That's right. I work four weeks day and sometime on Saturday. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? Um, how much money today per pay for each extra hours? Yes, um, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see it. Wait, wait some, some time. There is no much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Now, Daniel and Rodrigo. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you. How many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four hours days and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how, how much money do they pay for each extra hours? Yes. I work extra hours when there is not too much work to do. Each extra hour is around 10. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay, very good. Thank you. Now, Rosalina and Virginia. Okay. Um, take it in case you stay with Hina. Um, how how do I do? I work the week. How many day weekend you work? Hey Ben, well. I work five days a week, and you? Thank you. And work, work weekend day and something on Saturday. Really? On Saturday. Saturday? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hours? Yes, I work extra all with there is too much work do action extra work around seven dollar seven dollar perdón. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Now, Edwin and Salvador. Okay, Edwin Salvador. Yes. Uh, okay. Um, Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you how many days a week do you work? Hey, Ben. Well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work four weekdays and sometimes on Saturday. Really? On Saturdays? Do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours when there is too much work to do. Each extra hour is around ten dollars. I see. Well. Sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. And finally, Omar and Raul. Okay. 
Omar. Ok. Si quieres empezar. Perfecto. Jeff, how are you doing? I want to ask you, how many days a week do you work? Hey Ben, well, I work five days a week. And you? That's great. I work for weekdays and sometimes on Saturdays. Really? On Saturday, do you work extra hours? And how much money do they pay for each extra hour? Yes, I work extra hours. When there is too much work to do, each extra hour around ten dollars. I see. Well, sometimes there is not much time, right? Absolutely. Okay. Any question with the conversation, people? No? No teacher. No teacher. Some words I I want. This one. Really? Really? Okay. Yes, no question. Really? 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 Yeah. Really? Then another word is this. Hours. 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 Hour. Hour. Uh, hour. Oh. Another word is each. 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 Uh, Great. 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 Finally, absolutely. 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 Okay. Very good. Very good. So let's see these these questions. How much hours a day do you work or how many hours a day do you work? How many? How many? How many, how many? How many? How many hours? Okay. How many hours a day do you work? Two. How much do they pay or how many do they pay? How much? How, how much? much do they how pay? Much? How much? How much? They pay our, their hour. Okay, how much do they pay per hour? Um, esto pues lo vimos en la lección anterior. The difference between how many and how, how many how much. And now, mm -hmm. como les dije, how many for countable nouns. Those para days. efectos Wait. prácticos. Yo les he dicho palabras. Porque los Números o los, perdón, los sustantivos contables, los countable nouns, pueden usarse tanto en singular como en, en, en plural. ¿Ok? Yes. Singular o plural. Puede. Pero los uncountable nouns, sustantivos no contables, no se usan en plural. No tiene plural. ¿Eh? Yes. Entonces, esa es una clave para distinguir. Usar how much y cuando usar how many. 
Entonces tenemos otro ejercicio parecido acá. De how much y how many. Okay. I will give you five minutes to do it. Complétenlo, por favor. Doy unos minutos y luego lo revisamos. When you finish, please raise your hand, your virtual hand. Okay.
Okay. Okay, let's see. Number one, Carlos Jonathan. Number one. Hey, teacher. How Did much? Uh -huh. Let How much? One. Okay. How much money is in the bank? How much money is in the bank? Let's see. Number two, Rosalina. Number two, please. How much paper does a printer need? Okay, good. Number three. Let me ask to Salvador. Number three. How many hours a day does he work? Okay. Good. Number four, Omar. Okay. How much information is on the internet? Yeah. Number five. Let's see. Raul. Money. How many days a week do you rest? How many days a week? Hey. And number six, Daniel. How much employees does your company have? Employees. Ah, que dice el público? How many? How many? How many? It's plural. How many? How many? How many? Yeah. How many? Yes. Okay, let's practice. Repeat, please. How much money is in a bank? How much money is in a bank? How much money in the bank? How much paper does a printer need? How many hours a day does he work? How many hours a day does he work? How much information is on the internet? How much information is on the internet? How many days a week do you rest? 
How many employees does How many employees does your company have? How many employees does your company have? Okay. Very good. Very good. Okay, people. That would be all for today. Todo boys. Vamos a tomar la última asistencia de la noche. Improvisado, ¿verdad? El uso del how much y el how many. ¿Verdad? La mañana tenemos únicamente una práctica. Mañana vamos a practicar un poco de todo lo que hemos visto hasta hoy. ¿Verdad? Vamos a hacer varios ejercicios para practicar. Vamos con la asistencia. Entonces, Alison Andrea Serrano. Present teacher. Okay. Carla Yasmin Rivera. Present. Okay. Carlos Jonathan García. Present teacher. Okay. Daniel Ernesto Membreño. Present. Ok. Eh, Edwin Mauricio Pineda. Present teacher. Okay. Edwin Vladimir Pérez. Eric Mauricio Cruz. Gilberto Benito Santa María. Present teacher, good night. Okay. Jennifer Guadalupe Elías. Mm -hmm. José Andrés Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Julio César Fabián. Present teacher. Ok. No hay Gustavo Núñez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Omar Alexander Chávez. Present teacher. Ok. Raúl Edgardo Sarceño. Present teacher. Ok. Rosalina Esmeralda Sánchez. Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Salvador Alberto Soriano. Present. Ok, Virginia del Carmen Vázquez. Present teacher. Ok. Vladimir Alejandro García. I'm here. Good night. Okay. Good night. Eh, William Bori Roque. Present teacher. Good night. Ok. And William Rodrigo Ángel. Present. Ok, people. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night, everyone. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you. Me he ido un poquito con el. Bueno, hasta donde he entendido que. El how many eh, define tiempos y días. Todo. O no, no todo, ¿verdad? No, no. How many, how many es para preguntar acerca de cantidad. ¿Ah? Igual que how much. Son para preguntar cantidades. Los dos son para preguntar dos. cantidades. Exacto. Son para preguntar cantidades. Ahora, la diferencia está en que Usamos how much para cantidades. Eh, se usa, se dice de cosas de sustantivos no contables, ¿verdad? Un sustantivo no contable es una palabra que no se usa en plural. No es correcto, no tiene plural. Ah, eh, por eso es que yo les digo que how much es para cuando el sustantivo está en How much. 
lo traducimos cuánto, cuánta. ¿Ya? Lo que sea, cuánto tiempo, cuánto dinero, cuánto, cuánta azúcar, cuánta agua, cuánta leche, eh, cuánto or, cuánto, lo que sea. Pero singular. Y how many es para sustantivos contables, cosas que se pueden contabilizar, que se pueden expresar en plural. ¿verdad? Y por eso es que les digo que how many lo usamos en plural. ¿Cuántos? ¿Cuántas? ¿Ya? How many books? How many eh, shirts? How many eh, cars? How many y en el uso de how many how much money is in back ahí tendría que decir cuánto es es plural o no es plural money money dinero eso está en plural o en singular la palabra dinero está hablando de varios la palabra, la palabra dinero es singular, no, no, no está diciendo dineros, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto dinero? Entonces es este, how much? How much? How much money? Y how many refiere a plural, a varios. Varios. Uh -huh. Esa es la diferencia del how much y el how many. A ver si tengo. Es una pequeña duda que tenía con respecto a eso. Eh, y más que todo las que involucran, por ejemplo, hours, eh, employees, eh, employees, ¿cómo es que se dice esa palabra? Employees. 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 Uh -huh. Casi la mayoría que involucran a ese al final se, están en plural, ¿verdad? Exacto. Sí, esos son plural. Y plural, y le tocaría decir how many, por Exacto. ejemplo, how many employees, how many days, uh -huh. how many hours. Uh -huh. Es que me había confundido, yo me confundí un poco porque los había notado mal. Uh -huh. Entonces me estaba basando a lo que me había notado y los estaba poniendo mal. Ah, ok, ok. Por eso era mi, mi duda. Uh -huh. Voy a ir este. Un par de enlaces para que puedas practicar vos después. Mm, ¿Dónde te los mando? Bueno, aquí mismo en Zoom te lo voy a mandar. Ahí lo abrís y luego. Y lo va a anotar. Me diría que lo, que lo abras. Para que practiques un poco más. Ahí sí, ahí lo abría. Lo voy a mostrar el ejercicio. Ve, aquí está sencillo, tenés que escoger how much or many, much or many, ¿verdad? ¿eh? How much. Ahí no, tenés que escoger cuál es la correcta. No, caso. Yeah. Y cuando terminás, te vas acá donde dice terminado. Le das clic ahí. Y donde dice comprobar mis respuestas. Clic ahí. 
te va a dar. Y eso para que vos veas cuáles son las que salieron, cuáles son las malas, todas. Eso te va a poner. Uh -huh. Está bien. ¿Con las tareas cómo va? Sí, ahí voy avanzado, ya me falta la última nada más. Ah, ok. ¿Eh? ¿Alguna otra duda? ¿Te quedó claro esto ahora? Sí, con respecto a eso, solo eso era que ahí sí me confundí un poco por la forma en que lo había notado en los tiempos y días. Mm. Uh -huh. Sí, ahí, de ahí por lo demás estamos bien. Perfecto. Quedamos entonces, Daniel, ¿verdad? Cualquier bueno. cosa y estamos siempre al problema. Bueno, está bien, muchas gracias. Pues, buenas noches. Feliz noche. Buenas noches.